Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. This is a quick video regarding some testing that I did on the USB speed of the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm following this guy Lee PSP videos and he made many many videos lately regarding the speed of a USB while using SD cards and USB keys and different methods to see how fast he can get running the Raspberry Pi from an SD card or from USB stick. I've decided to do some testing for myself also and I'll show my results from the slowest to the fastest that I've got. So as a benchmark I took my internal SSD of my computer that I'm using and it's using SATA interface and with the SATA interface I got 533 megabytes of read and 490 megabytes of write speed. I then found from AliExpress this type of PSSD disk on key while in the computer I got really good results of 330 for read and 77 for write. For some reason the Raspberry Pi couldn't load from this. I tried everything that I knew, uh, changing the different files, changing some settings on the USB and it was loading so slow that I didn't even want to record it or do anything else. So there are types of disk on keys on the market some of them will be really fast as you'll see later on and some of them just don't work and I don't have any explanation for that. Then I got also from AliExpress this 64 gigabyte A1 type SD card. In the PC I got only 18 megabytes of read and 14 megabytes of write. In the Raspberry Pi 4 I got only 6600 kilobytes of a second read and that was a fail. The Random write speed was only 48 and the random read speed was 1000. So all of them got failed even though they ship it as A1. Also in the website itself there is this really nice chart that shows all the speeds and they say that the read speed is up to 98 megabytes and as you can see from before I never managed to reach this not in the PC and not in the Raspberry Pi. Now I tried also different ports, different card readers and those were the best pits that I got. I also tried the no brand SD card. This is the NetTech. Also I got some 18 megabytes of read and only 3 megabytes of write. Also you can see in the sequential I got the th I got 3000 kilobytes of second and the random write speed 97 and the random read speed it's 1000. So all of them were also fail. I also tried this Transcend USB disk that I have. With this I got a little bit better results, so 24 megabytes of read and 7 megabytes of write in the PC. And in the USB 3 of the Raspberry it was 4000 for the sequential, 1 random write speed and 1000 for the read speed. Then I found a different USB stick on AliExpress. I don't know who is the manufacturer. The PC tests were really nice, so 330 for the read and 100 for the write. And I was surprised that it worked on the Raspberry Pi. I got 10,000 for the sequential, 4,000 for the random write speed, and for the random I got 3,000. As you can see all of them pass. So that was really really nice and I was really happy. This is the 64 gigabyte of SSD. This cost when I bought it around $12 or $13 and the shipping was really fast after two weeks or something I got it. I was really happy with that so I moved on and I ordered also the 128 gigabytes from them. From the read speed and write speed that was faster if we compare it to the 64 gigabytes. So you can see the 64 was 330 and 102 and the 120 gigabytes was 340 and 220. The biggest surprise was in the Raspberry Pi. This was almost 160 kilobytes of read and write, 6000 for the random and almost 4000 for the read. And you can see I did another test that was even better and almost the same speed for the write and read speed. This was a little bit more expensive for the 128 gigabytes I paid about $18 but I was really happy from that. Uh, it was really quick. The loading in the PC to write the image was really quick. The speed that the Raspberry Pi is loading is really fast. I'm really happy with that and I also recommend this. I'll leave all the links down below in the video description.
and if you have any questions just write them down if anyone has uh, also a question when I did LS USB minus T I got it as a USB storage so even though I got it as a USB storage I'm getting really really good results and it's really fast thank you for watching don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll see when I'm loading new videos thank you